Hi guys, I've got a little project to make. My wife wants to put some LEDs inside a glass vase we were given for Christmas to make it look pretty. So I thought I'd see whether I can do one of those pancake coils and wirelessly transmit the energy into the vase so we can light up the LEDs. I've got some telephone extension lead wire here. 10 metre coil. So I'll see if I can make that into a pancake coil. If that doesn't work I've got some speaker wire. But I'll try this first. Well, we're not going to need the connectors. the camera will focus but uh, it's just two wires in there one red one blue so that should mean we can make a bifiler pancake coil and I'm going to follow the little demonstration done by mongrel shark so I thought his demo was nice and simple on how to make the pancake coil he just uses Get it down without everything falling down. Just uses a CD case so that you can wrap the coil around there. So that's what I'll do. I've already stripped off the outer casing and tied the conductors around the edge of the spool here to hold it in place. And we should just wrap it up. And I think the trick here is not to put too much tension on it. Because if you over tension it, it starts deforming. Right, now all we've got to do is stick it down to stop it coming undone. We'll try hot glue. What's the worst that can happen? It melts. <laughs> and whatever you've got sitting on top of it sticks to it. When that's cooled down, I'll turn it over and put some on the other side. If nothing else, it looks pretty. Let's see if we can get it off the spool. Go. So I'll put hot glue on this side as well, and that should help to hold it all together. Just let that bit cool down a bit before I do any more. There we are. Pancake coil sealed in hot glue, or at least arms of hot glue. So we'll have to add a transistor to it and see if we can make it work. Just use what was left of that 10 metre length of telephone wire quite surprised how big that coil is. I thought I'd used much more than that already. 
although I'd have to do the maths to calculate how long that was, I didn't bother to measure it. Just a very quick look before I tidy up. Well there we are, that's the finished article, well not quite finished, I still need to tidy it up a bit. Um, that breadboard's a bit over the top, there's just one transistor on it and I've got a variable resistor there so I could check what value I needed. I can probably measure that now and replace it with a single resistor. Running it off a 9 volt battery. Um, two pancake coils made from the telephone extension lead. Inspired by Mongrel Shark, I'll just say his name again. Um, just inspired me because he showed it was very easy to wind up these coils. Plenty of videos on them on YouTube, but I just liked his. It was very straightforward. Um, and I've got a little string of LEDs there. Uh, I think they were Christmas decoration LEDs. They normally run off two AA batteries, but I've taken the battery box off and just soldered them straight onto the pancake coil. So quick demo, if I just connect up my battery, there we go, that's our LEDs are light, hope we can see them in the light here, and move, move the coil away, move it back again, move it away, move it back. The only thing I'm not sure about is the transistor does get rather hot, so I may need to do a bit more investigation, maybe use a different transistor, because that's one of those... 2N2222 transistors, so maybe one that handles the power a bit better. That's just overheated and cut out, so that's something I need to do. If I just let it cool down again for a while. There we go. So I do need to sort out the transistor overheating, but other than that, Got a working circuit. Quite pleased with that, and it looks quite nice. Quite pleased with that. Just a quick demo. This isn't actually the vase that my wife wants to use, but it does show you the effect. I've actually got to do a bit more work because I've got my dimensions wrong. <laughs> So it doesn't actually fit in the vase she wants to use. But that's the right idea anyway.